going to do another uh, breakdown here today. going to be a throw breakdown of Matt Corral, the uh, quarterback that was at Oaks Christian. Now he's at Long Beach Poly. He's been doing some really big things this offseason in terms of um, winning some, some contests and just making a big impact. So um, I thought I'd do a breakdown with him and see some of the things that, that he's able to do. And it actually goes really well with our membership video that we posted today um, that will go into how the proper sequencing of the throw as well as creating good force out of the ground are two really important parts of the throw. So um, we'll just hop right into it here. We can see that uh, with that front leg, he gets into really some, some early external rotation, just kind of opens up that front hip, but he's able to get away with it because he really does a good job of creating that ground force. So you can see how much he rises out of that that throw that, or into that throw and how kind of straight he comes through. So he is not very rotational during the whole overall movement. He's very smooth and just kind of transitions his weight from the back front right through to the front front and does a very good job of keeping good stabilization within that front leg. Um, in terms of force production as well or, or how he's able to get a good amount of zip on the ball is he's a very very stable in his shoulder very shit stable in his in his uh, t-spine and also um probably most importantly very stable within his wrist and his forearm joint just like you know we always talk about the importance of the ankle the importance of the wrist really shows itself in um, matt's delivery and that he does a great job of keeping uh, his wrist in a good position as he's going through the throw um, and then just does a good job of sequencing the throw so as soon as you could see He's rotating within that hip. He's also getting the, the ball up and through and, and getting the um, ball out of his hands really in, in sync well with uh, with his lower body. So now we'll go into more of a deep ball here, and he does a very good job of throwing his deep balls as well. Now when he goes through, you can see kind of the same type of things. We just get it from a different angle. Um, when he throws his deep ball, he does a better job of also getting his trunk into it. So before he was just kind of, or like his spine area, before we were just kind of seeing he's just kind of coming right through and just releasing. Uh, but now when we see this, we see that he leans forward. He does really the same thing with the lower body, kind of opens up that hip, does a good job of transferring the weight off the back leg, gets that hip through. But then here at the upper body, he does um, some kind of side bending and some forward motion going through. It's kind of good that we saw it. Well, we're seeing this um, right after he did Dan Marino. It kind of has a similar kind of movement that he does with his upper body as, as Dan Marino did um, and, and how he, he goes through the throw. I'm not saying that he's obviously going to be the next Dan Marino, but there are definitely some similarities where he's going through the same type of flexion within the spine and then also a little side bend in order to get a little bit more juice behind the ball there. And you could see, I mean, how smooth that ball or that, that release looked, and he ends up throwing the ball like 60 yards. So um, definitely impressive impressive release going on for for matt here then we go for the last one it's just a uh, a curl route we could really see him drive through here really the same type of thing you could see very very um forward in his release or or he's he's just moving in the sagittal plane he's just coming right straight through there's not a lot of rotation he uses a lot of whip within that shoulder he just very he does a great job of harnessing all that power that he creates within his body um, being such a big guy and then throws it right into his arm does a great job getting a good round of rotation then again most importantly is look at that wrist that wrist is in a good position he's coming up overhead um, and so i would say that's a big thing to take away from here is really starting to stabilize that wrist we, we work a lot of that stuff with the kettlebell stuff and i think it's great um, in order to to really get the most out of the throw we can see that matt has that very very naturally um, but i think what was cool about this as well is that you know there's some things that that um Matt does that shows that, that he can get even better, right? He has a lot of external rotation within that elbow. He's really getting that ball a little bit behind the head. And then he's also opening that, that hip up a little bit early. So there are two things that he could probably um, improve on and get even more out of the throw. The issue is, is uh, you know, it kind of mess up with his sequencing. And I do think that if, we, if we're going to put it into a hierarchy, I think that the hierarchy goes that sequencing is most important. So since he has such good sequencing, you really got to kind of let it go unless there starts to be some type of problem, some type of back pain or some type of elbow pain, which there maybe could be, then you'd have to go in and look into some mechanics and make some mechanics changes. But until then, um, I think there's a lot of things that, again, he does very, very well. So um, thanks again for watching these breakdowns. I think these are really helping, and, and I'm, I'm glad that we're, we're starting to, to get some people that are interested in it. So um, if you have any questions, please email me, maury, M-O-R-E-Y, at yourperformancelab.com. 
Uh, we have a whole bunch of different videos that we do every Wednesday and, and Saturday, different types of breakdowns, pitchers, quarterbacks, we do running, we do exercises, and then we also have a member membership page that goes even more in depth into the mechanics behind sprinting, the mechanics behind pitching, the mechanics behind um, throwing a, a football, and then a lot of very good exercises that will help you uh, really get your game to the next level. So if you have any questions about any of that, uh, please reach out to us. And then also, if you have any recommendations for us for uh, different people to break down, um, we're always interested in, in hearing what you guys have to think so, uh, or what you guys have to say. So thanks again for watching, and we will see you soon.